Now, marking this Armed Forces Day here in South Korea, our Defence Ministry correspondent Park Ji Won was presented with the opportunity to take a ride in a fighter jet, and she bravely took up the Air Force op on their offer. She soared through the skies above Korea in the locally produced FA-50. So, why don't we take a look? Anyone hoping to train in the air as a fighter pilot has to start with physiological training on the ground. Every Korean fighter pilot goes through this training every three years. One of the main things is the G-force test, which trains pilots to endure extreme gravity. Pilots need to be able to withstand up to nine Gs, or nine times gravity's normal strength. Under G-force is that strong, if you haven't learned the special breathing methods, you will pass out instantly as gravity drains blood out of the brain, causing hypoxia. There is also training for low air pressure, something pilots experience way up in the sky. The chamber simulates the conditions found at an altitude of 25,000 feet, or nearly 8,000 meters. Without an oxygen mask, your oxygen levels will fall dangerously in less than three minutes. You can go up in a fighter jet only once you pass the training. You will still need a safety and mission briefing beforehand, though, and you have to put on a G-suit, which helps with the extreme gravity. I took a ride in South Korea's first supersonic combat fighter developed by Korea Aerospace Industries in conjunction with the U.S. firm Lockheed Martin. This is DFA-50, and I've been given the chance to fly in it and experience all of those specs myself. I got in the back seat and put on the helmet and oxygen mask. The pilot flew us at an average speed of over 800 kilometers per hour, but its maximum speed is Mach 1.5, or more than double that. He did a series of training maneuvers for surface attacks and air combat. The pilot took us shooting straight up, drove the plane way down, and careened into tight angle turns at an altitude as low as 500 feet and as high as 40,000. Air Force Major Cho Ji Su, a veteran fighter pilot with over 2,000 flight hours over the past 15 years, acknowledges the South Korean jet's excellent capabilities. It's a great honor to operate the first fighter aircraft developed using South Korean technology. The more flight hours I put in, the prouder I become as I experience more of the aircraft's excellent performance. South Korea has exported dozens of the most advanced variant of the T-50 family along with other models, making Korea only the world's sixth exporter of supersonic aircraft. Some 360 aircraft from the F-A-50 family are in operation both in and outside of the country. The model's consistently safe record has built confidence in South Korean fighter aircraft. With these homegrown state-of-the-art fighter jets, South Korean pilots get training on an almost daily basis for an average of about 15 to 25 flight hours a month. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.